I don't know why half of the people don't speak and don't have camera. <clears throat> but at the other time, uh, if the quizzes and, ex and homework are the, last, uh, the ultimate truth. Uh, if you are not in the quiz, you are not. Um, <clears throat> so in, in, in summary, well, we, this is the same summary we used last time. I, I'm going to share again the uh, class with you, the, the, uh, some, some template. And, uh, but essentially, we, we wa I want to focus on this thing. We did a little bit last time, but I want to do it a little more. And I have a couple of things. But maybe before going to that, that I have here, the, the, the today goal is to uh, tie up. I, I, okay, this is two phrases. The first part is tied up the survey data, as we were talking before. Uh, just a little, a little tied up, and then answer some questions. So. I want to invest, let's say, invest half an hour in tidying up data. Um, face, I need to look to the other side because uh, face, you're getting the sun in the face. So you should uh, turn around or something. Uh, uh, yes, or, but I have an incredible situation, so I can't go anywhere. <laughs> so I'm sorry, I can't close up my camera or something, but. No, don't worry. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Just that I, I, I find that you are uncomfortable with so much sun in your face. Like, yeah, um, thank you. I am, but I can't do anything. Thank you. Yeah, well, yeah, if you wait, uh, put, put yourself comfortable. Uh, uh, because, I mean, it's good that you see the screen, but uh, I mean, you have to be able to, to work comfortable. Don't, don't get distracted. Uh, the <clears throat> so, uh, Ah, well, I got there. Okay, let, let's let's um, go to the thing. I am going to share with you a file that I have for this thing, and I have not tested. So this is going to be real time. And the idea, like last week, is that we do this thing together as much as we can do it together. So what is this? Um, is um, uh, two thousand twenty. 2020. It's not in the website yet, so um, it's seven here. Uh, class 18. Ah, by the way, did you notice that class 17 was a, a video, that, a YouTube video? That I found that uh, they tell what I want to say better than I can say, and th they are the official people, so I, I, I don't find any reason for redoing the same thing if someone did it better. So <clears throat> it's like when, when you have to read a book. Ah, by the way, I'm going to talk about books in a, in a minute. But in a minute, okay, let's go to this thing. Like last week, I recommend, in fact, probably we can use the same project. Uh, you remember that we said that we want to have projects here, no? And uh, we created here, uh, you get a new project or something. Since we are going to work with the same data, I suggest that we use the same project. So I'm closing this, uh, yeah, I'm closing everything here. In, in fact, let's open again. I'm going to choose the same project again. So if you choose again the same project, <clears throat> the system is going to restart uh, like a brand new, like uh, essentially, it will forget everything that I didn't save, and we're starting with something that is clean. So we have the same condition. Uh, I don't have more information than you. And I send you this file, and I'm going to do the same. <clears throat> I'm going to copy that file to my uh, desktop, not here. OK, maybe there. OK, let me take this one. And put them here. So OK, so uh, what's R, no? So I'm going to copy exactly that thing to the, this is called Computing Molecular Biology 1 class 15. Okay. <clears throat> so as you see, I got the file uh, that I just sent you and I put in the folder of the project. In general, in general, uh, you will do a new project. But today, I want to use the same project, essentially because we're using the same data. It's kind of the second part of the same thing. So 
we can have a, a more than one RMD uh, file in the same project. Uh, I should fix the date here. Uh, today is. Okay, I need to turn on my camera. Uh, let's write the date here. <coughs> No, then there. Small letters. You write your name and your number. Uh, remember that in general we want you to say your number here, okay? Okay. <clears throat> what else? Um, Ah, uh, here, here, here. Okay, so uh, you got the data, we download it here, and we can load here, no? We click in the first chunk, and we get the result here, fine, no? You remember this part, no? So we, here we... <clears throat> the trick is, since uh, we store this in the RMD file, uh, we can redo it again. The, that is the big advantage that instead of doing everything from zero every time, we are trying to, to, to recycle things, trying to reuse things as much as we can. Okay, what else? I need to close my... Um, okay, what is the question? Uh, you, you remember we, we spoke about this, and, and in fact we did it, but uh, I didn't save it. Do you do you remember what we did with the um, uh, range of number? Maybe maybe now we have a better way to to answer this question. <clears throat> we can say, um, let's check every column. So quickly we can do are a summary of students. Uh, it is kind of a good idea, uh, well, in most cases, it's a good idea to make a summary so you can see quickly what is happening. So the rest of, uh, there is an option, option that you should remember here that say uh, output in line. Uh, so input in line so we can see here immediately what is happening. So the dates seem, what do you think about dates? This answer date is automatic, there is no problem, uh, 2018 to now. Birth date is kind of funny because some people put this year and not the date that they were born. So there is someone that say that uh, was born last year. So uh, kind of funny. Uh, in the text, we cannot say many things, but the thing that we were worried last time is this one, um, height. You remember? Yes. Ah, good, good. I don't, I don't, I don't see your faces now, uh, so, so you have to speak. Um, so how we fix this? How can we fix this? We want to fix height. Um, yeah, that is the thing. Uh, we, we have to fix two things. One is the the height and the other the birthplace. Maybe there are other problems, but let's start fixing these two ones. No? Okay, for so do you remember? Uh, 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 first we will fix um, the height. Since this is a, a computer code, I put it with backticks, okay? So it will look better when you know. Do you remember how to do this? I semi-remember, but I don't remember completely. Yes. Tell me. You can copy uh, and paste if you want. Okay. <laughs> but basically the, the first question was, um, we said um, student, 
uh, height centimeter and we ask if is we can only do if okay let's see is this um, less than 50 that was the critical question we make a graphic we saw that and there are some na so we have to combine this with uh, not is na and student this was the approach We give a name to this one. No? What was the name? This is essentially true in the one that must change. What was the name that we give to that? Tusma. Ah, interesting. Mm. Uh, okay, Zeynep wrote something, but uh, you have to be careful with something. Uh, I am going to write to everybody. The, um, ah, okay. Um, and the arrow here and a parenthesis that is good to have here. There is only one point that this is a minus sign, so you have to be careful and not use minus when you should use underscore, okay? That is the only thing that is kind of critical. And then uh, this is what the values are too small and then essentially we multiply the two smalls and we assign them back <clears throat> we will take the old values multiply by 100 and put them back and then we will see what happened so now we keep the missing values no problem because we cannot do anything with the missing value. I mean, at least right now we are not doing anything. But we don't have this uh, fake, these wrong numbers that we had before. So this 1.55 should be now correct. What about the birthplaces? In fact, if you see, that was the question that we had from last class. <coughs> So, uh, pop, 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 pop. Uh, what is this? Okay, uh, what do we do? R, we say, no, um, stu students and birth place. Let's take a look at the data first. <coughs> and we get some idea. So, uh, what I suggest is taking some some cases. For example, uh, and I don't know if we have a better way to do, but let, let's try this. So, um, I will keep this one. Okay, but we 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 will not finish this now because we we will not have enough time. But I want to show the idea. Okay, and later at home with more time we can do. But the way that I, we can kind of correct the data after we took it wrong, we are taking which of these people is like this. Um, so student birthplace place. This is the first question. Now we, we see when they say Istanbul, Turkey. And uh, okay. And what else we say? We say uh, there is only one true. <coughs> now I want to see student birthplace of this. Let's see what happened here. You should say Istanbul, Turkey, no? <coughs> now we have some NA, so we shall, uh, we must say not 
is an A. Uh, birthplace. Uh, as you see, this is kind of annoying because we have to write the same name again and again. But let's see what we can do. Okay, there is one case. <clears throat> what other case we have? We have uh, this one. How can we combine this? Any idea how to combine this? Uh, we can con uh, yeah, sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. We can concatenate maybe with C. Okay. Okay. And and put the uh, several inputs together with the C. Maybe that works. I don't. Know. Yeah, I do. uh, but I'm not sure what you want to concatenate. Um. <laughs> For example, uh, the different uh, typings, like with small letters Istanbul, with big letters Istanbul. Okay, let's let's make something like um, I, I can. Uh, I want to make uh, what do you say? Uh, uh, let's make a vector called Istanbul names. Just to, to have an idea, I put a small letter. Okay, let's put Istanbul. Like. Let's make a vector. Uh, it's an interesting idea. Istanbul, Turkey, Istanbul, Turkey. And uh, you have, you, you can put kind of all the name that we find here, no? Look, I'm going to copy and, and then uh, edit manually. Okay, I'm being lazy. So we have Istanbul, Turkey, Istanbul one way, Istanbul another way here. By the way, do you see that in the meantime we have this error here because there kind of there is well there is some many message here, but it's essentially meaning that I didn't finish editing yet. I have to edit here. And that's a super trick that I can do here. And uh, we need a comma here somewhere. Comma here, we need to put commas. We need a comma here. We need a comma here. Here. Comma here. I want to make it not too big. Uh, do we need a comma? Do we need anything? Ah, here we need a comma. Essentially, as long as you see red symbols here, something is missing. <clears throat> ah, here, here, that, that uh, error is from the next one. Um, so just, just one second. Just one second and, and we will go. I have two questions for you here, or three. First, I have a question. Uh, okay, go ahead. Is there any way to, uh, our, can I recognize the a word, for example, Istanbul? What, what, what do you mean by error? Uh, I said, can I recognize the Istanbul, the word? It doesn't matter if, if it lowercase or uppercase, just the word Istanbul. Can you do that? Um, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I see. Uh, the the short see? answer is no. The short answer is no. The long answer that in some cases maybe you you can you can essentially uh, convert everything to lowercase, for example, and compare lowercase to lowercase. But you still have the problem that some people write Turkey Istanbul and some people write Istanbul Turkey. And uh, and uh, and some people write uh, with slash with spaces, so and at some level the the point is that uh, the computer doesn't know what is the correct way. Uh, it is, uh, I mean, I, I I don't know what is the correct way. So <clears throat> we can say say go ahead. 
each one, I mean, each Istanbul's have uh -huh. uh, common letters, right? S T A N B. Okay. Only uh, the first or the last letter changes. How about we write a code about this common letters? Like, give us this count, give us this uh, count uh, that yeah. has these letters. Well, uh, uh, there is, uh, in this case, it may work, but in general, you may have uh, that the same letters are in a different order. You, you may have cases uh, in which you have another with the same letter, but in different order. Huh? Uh, so it may work in this case. In fact, probably here, <clears throat> a lot of cases, uh, we just see the first three letters. Maybe a good approach is to take the first three letters. We can try that. Uh, we can try. I'm just trying to show you a, a solution that works in all cases. But uh, you are right that in some cases we can make a, at least partial solution. Let's let's try it in a minute before 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 I make this um, test. Um, okay, let's let's try this idea that you say because it's true that here I am not solving everything. I still have others that uh, Istanbul written in different ways, and it will take some time. <clears throat> Sorry, let let me tell you something. Uh, ah, okay. I didn't uh, say different. Maybe, maybe I should say um, uh, instead of a student back there, let's say let's make a table so we know uh, they will not be repeated at least. So, and they are sorted at this time. So we have Istanbul here, 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 here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, seven, nine. 11, 12, and then there was another like Turkey, Istanbul. Um, I don't know why people people wrote country city, even if I ask it right city country. <clears throat> but okay, that is people are like that. Yeah, we can try something like that. It's a, it's an interesting approach and. Um, Let's try in a minute, okay? But right now, let's try, let's try this. How we take these um, names here? What I'm doing? Let's see. How 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 we test now? We make a, a, a little vector with all the Istanbul names. Mm -hmm. Agree? And then you want to see if the birthplace is one of these names, how we can test that thing. It will not be the equal. How you test? if the name is one of the many names of uh, Istanbul. The city of many names. You should know because uh, there was a question in the quiz. Why don't we use select fun function, for example, contain? Uh, something that, con okay, contains. Uh, what is the function contain? I don't know that function, but uh, we can, yep, I open to contain, contain, I don't have a contain function. But uh, first select. Ah, in the, ah, like, like, okay, okay. Did you see in the select in the in here you have something like contain? Uh, okay. Very good idea. Okay, let's do it in a minute. Let's do it in a minute because if you see this is something uh, that applies to the 
data frame. Let, 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 let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Now, what, I, what I'm thinking here is that we have a, a value here of a student birthplace. And here we have not one value, but several values. And we want to see if the birthplace is one of these. Or in other words, if the birthplace is in, yeah, contained in. This is the contained, the other way to say contained in this context. I will try your approach in app later. I am not going yet to that thing, but you are you are in a, in a good uh, logic. Is and boy uh, names. So let's see what happened here. Um, so for example, these 25 people say Istanbul in one of the names, you see? How, how, how I did? I took all the Istanbul names and make a vector with them. Then I am essentially, this is written in two lines. Then I am essentially asking if the birthplace is one of this name. If this birthplace is in one of these ones. Okay. And then if we can do that, we can update them. Make it a little bit shorter here. Ah. And I will assign a new name, Istanbul. Uh, sorry. Uh, what will be the official name? They put Istanbul. Istanbul. No spaces. Okay. One way of saying. This is, as, as, uh, as you say, this is not the only way to do. Uh, there are more than one way. This is just showing one approach that may work. Uh, in this case, I, I, I showed you because I think this is something that can work in many cases. Uh, uh, we have to count again what happened. And so I'm going to repeat this command to see how it changes. And no, you should say, ah, look, there are some some cases some cases that I miss. Uh, this is the one that we make. You see, now we have twenty six, but I still have this missing. So, give me just one minute. I'm going to copy this one that are a problem, and I'm going to add them here. So, my point is that I don't need to solve it in one step. I can make a first solution, test if it works, then try again and again and kind of. Add, add the missing parts. Um, that's basically what I wanted to, to show you, that you can do it uh, by parts. You don't need to solve it immediately. Um, this But I would like to try the other approach that you say. Essentially, because what I like is that you tell me ideas that I don't have. There are more than one way to solve the problem, and I want you to be thinking in that other way. Um, ah, but if you if you allow me, I'm going to do something. Uh, no, I cannot do it. Sorry, I'm not able to do it. Okay, let's let's uh, let's see what happened. I'm doing it again. Uh, there is no red sign here, therefore there is no something that is very wrong. And I click again and I check what happened. And what happened now? Do we have Istanbul, Turkey? And it looks better, no? Um, 
Then, as you see, to, to continue, we, we essentially have to uh, do the same for every case. I'm not, go I'm not going to do that. But we have, the, for example, this case of Antalya. So let's try, let's try the other approach with Antalya, okay? One idea was try to look for Antalya directly here. So, uh, uh, looking for the Antalya. Uh, that is, we write like that, no? So, uh, what they have in common is that they start with these letters, the same letter, no? So, how will we do that? Well, there are, again, many ways to do, but one possibility is that we take this. We take a student birth place. And ah, do we have a way to do we have a way to handle the text? No, did, did we discuss how to handle text? The first part of the text, no. Um, Because um, we, we need to kind of find how, how we look for the first letter of birthplace. Do we know how to take the first letters? I don't know who, who, who because I was not looking at the screen, who, who proposed the, the, the idea that maybe we can look partially and try to find Istanbul, or, or, or in this case, uh, Antalya, uh, how, how, we, how can we? Hmm? Are you asking to find the first letter? The, no, the first, uh, I don't know, five or seven letters. Uh, yeah, I said that. <laughs> okay, how, how can we can do that? Substract function, substract function. Sub, sub, string. Did we do that? Sure. Sub string. Did we do that? Yes. Okay. Let's see if it. Uh, let's see what happens. Starting in the first, ending in the seventh. Stop. Start one. Yeah. Stop. So. Uh, in this case, you see, uh, or make it, let's make a table here. Sometimes doing a table helps to see the big picture. Okay, table is good because I help you to see the big picture. So, uh, yeah, you see, there is an advantage. You are, you are right. Maybe let, let's let's make a little more more more. Uh, um, uh, optimistic. I'm going to take the first uh, five letters. Okay, maybe this is a good idea. Okay, this was a good idea. Congratulations. So um, you can quickly realize what is happening here. Well, not every time, not every time, but but uh, for example, um, okay. Uh, is this enough to solve everything? No, for example, this, this and this are the same, no? And here there are some that are Turkey, but probably, and, and Van is written in different way, but it's kind of uh, a, a good uh, simplification, no? It kind of many of the problem can be solved looking at the first five letters. Yes or no? Yes. You are not very convinced. I mean, if you are not convinced, please say so because uh, this is very, very 
uh, experimental, if you like. Uh, let me say, I don't have the answer here. I, I, am, I am thinking this with you. Uh, I am not uh, uh, holding my solution. Uh, I am not trying you to guess what I'm thinking. On the contrary, I am trying to think with you. So we can do this. Um, uh, let's make so, so uh, um, I'm not copying this yet. So we have something, for example, Adana. Okay, Adana, fine. Uh, Let's, let's take the A, the thing that start with A, okay? So, so this is, um, we can do like this. Uh, let's do like this. The, the, if, if the first letters are Adana, what is the city? Tell me if the first letters are Adana, what is the city? Come on. What is the Adana? city name that start with Adana? Adana! Eh! Yes. <laughs> say so. Adana. <laughs> Even I can say that. So, uh, and we are going to say the same, but we are going to change the rule here. Instead of student birthplace, we are taking substring student birthplace, the first five letters. Uh, if, so what are we are saying? We, we always have to take care of the ones that are uh, not available. And then we ask this question. If the first letters are equal to these first five letters, it is Adana. Yeah. Let me make it a little shorter and let make it so everybody can understand what is happening. So we update the birthplace when 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 they say Adana, we put Adana. And with the same logic, let me put a space here just to see. With the same logic. You can do for every uh, similar city. What is the city here? I, can, I don't know the cities in Turkey. And Yaman? Yes, no? Yes. Turkey, no? Yes. Okay. I don't know the cities in Turkey. Boy. So you start here. But notice that I am doing a little change here that initially they, are, they have spaces and they have comma. I am only putting a slash now, no spaces. And uh, the same you can do with uh, this. Let, let me take one that is big. Um, uh, no, I want to do van. I want to do van because van is in different names. Okay. Ah, well, okay. Van, van is going to be easy if we take the. Okay, let's take this one. Let's take this one. Okay. So with the same logic. If it is yellow, then we what? What is the name of the city? Yeah, Yalova. Yalova. Okay. So notice that here you have Yalova long and Yalova short. And um, okay, uh, but you get the idea. And I will put Yalova. If the name is with big letters, like here. So with the substring okay, function, um, we don't have to, you know, with the substring function, it doesn't matter if it's lowercase or bigger case, right? It, it, it matters. applies. It matters. It matters. It matters. I mean, what I mean is this. What I mean is this. So substring will take the the from start to stop, uh, but will keep the the case. If it's lowercase, will be lowercase. If it's uppercase, will be uppercase. Look, let, take a look. You have Yalova. Here you have with big letters and small letters, because the original was big letters or small letters. Uh, the it is not changing. Okay. Okay. So big letters and small letter med letters matters. Are different. But yeah. Uh, but if it's I don't know. If there's a typo or something, 
we, this doesn't work, right? No, 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 it doesn't work. Uh, no, but uh, in fact, we are being very, very explicit. Like, if the first five letters match yellow with bigger case, then we say it's yellow. We may make a mistake. Uh, you have to be careful because, I mean, if imagine if I take only the first letter, you are probably going to 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 miss. It. Uh, if you take the first letter. Uh, you will confuse Izmir with Istanbul, and you will confuse uh, Ankara with, with uh, Adana. Uh, they, they will look the same. So you need uh, some, some uh, good number of letters. And th there is a still some problem, because there, is this, uh, there are some cases that people wrote the country, like yeah. Turkey. That uh, we have to handle. But, but uh, the, the basic philosophy, as you say, is to um, make, the basic philosophy is to make a query, make a question that will identify the cases and then fix that cases. Let's see what happens if we do this and when, and after we take the table, okay? I want to see the same table after. Uh, and after at least Yalova is more organized, uh, we already solved Istanbul. We have not solved Izmir. Uh, well, these are uh, not changing very much. Uh, but the interesting cases are probably uh, here and uh, Van. Okay, I don't want to spend too much time, but I feel like. Uh, uh, we should fix van. Uh, it's van seems so easy to fix. Uh, and I want to tie something uh, else in van. Um, every time we have many options, and I'm never sure if uh, giving you too many options will help you to understand better or more. But let's see. We're going to do van. Okay. So here it should say van. But uh, go ahead. Uh can we use or here one? We can use or, yeah, that was the other option. That was the other option. We, I was saying that you can say one with with a, with a big letters or with, uh, like here, you could have said something. Well, let, let's do it later, but you, you, in theory, you can combine these two lines in, in, in one, uh, you say, if is yellow with small letters, or if it is yellow with big letters. I am not doing it because the text will be uh, too much uh, and I don't want to confuse people, okay? Uh, some, th there are options that I don't show because they can even make life harder. No, what I want to do now is to finish with one, uh, but uh, please notice this. In the case of one, since it's a short name, we can take three letters. There is no other city that they start with van. It's not like Venezuela, no. So the three letters will be enough. And the second thing that I want to do is if the text is in small case, I want to send it to uppercase. Okay. And I am showing you a comment that you may not to to upper. So what uh, this may be uh, confusing, but let's be careful. We take the birthplace. We take the first tr three letters of birthplace with the substring, OK? Then we make the, we, 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 the result that we got, we make it uppercase. And then we can compare it. That, therefore, this van will work, and this will also work, and this will also work. Do you believe me? Do you follow me? Say yes or no. You can say you can yes. say yes. Yes. Or, yes. Or unlimited. Yes. Okay. Good. So that was the question. So, in other words, we cannot compare small case with big case 
but we can change the case and compare in, in, in uppercase or in lowercase. You cannot compare small with big. I mean, they will be different, but you can transform before comparing. So uh, this is not completely clean, but it gives you an idea, no? And uh, I don't want to spend too much time doing this thing. But let, let me conclude with some point that I want to write here. So uh, I will write it. So following the same idea, uh, we um, will um, correct, uh, or will not correct, uh, let's say literally tidy up the uh, birth place. Okay. Now, uh, uh, we have two options after this. Then, then we have two options. Then we will have two options. What are the two options? One, if we can save the, the result, we can save the result in a new data file. So you can essentially uh, remember that we started with this file, that uh, this file, by the way, is essentially with your answers. Uh, and this is not something I invented, it's something that people, you and people like you said. Uh, so we can save uh, in a kind of clean version of the table, that is what an option. But there is another option is to uh, save all the steps to tidy up again. So what are the advantages of the, you, you, Sorry, first, do you understand that we have these two options? Like, do you understand what I mean by these two options? No? If you don't understand, say it so we can discuss it. Yes. The, the, uh, if we want to save the file, we will do something like, uh, uh, we can do both in fact. We can do something like write, um, write this, write, uh, uh, write file, write line, write, write type separated value, for example. And we will say what we want to say here, the students. And uh, the file name will be, uh, uh, students tidy dot tsv by okay that is one option uh, and the advantage is that you uh, next time you you start with the clean version you don't need to let's let's do it let's click here uh, if if I didn't do anything wrong, I click here and it takes them and I got a new file here, you see? And I can click and see what is inside. And this is a, a clean version. Well, it's not so easy to see. Let me make maybe. And uh, it should be better than before. Okay, I don't know if you can see with so small letter. But the other option uh, is uh, to save the file. We use this comment. And then uh, to save uh, the, I will put it in big letter, protocol. we save this RMD document. So now the document has all the rules. The, the thing that we did now is what are all the rules that will allow us to tie up the data again from zero? What is the advantage of this uh, 
the advantage is that uh, I, I see two advantages. Uh, the advantages, let's put it in plural, are one, uh, we do not duplicate data. Uh, essentially, we have one original. Let me put the camera so I can move my hand. Move my hand. So um, the advantage here is that we have one file and only one file. The students uh, 2008. This one. We have only one file. That is all the source of all our uh, analysis. And if we need to clean it, we have a protocol and everybody can follow the same protocol. So let's, let's say in, in, in terms of molecular biology, this file here is the result of your experiment. Okay. When you do an experiment, you will have the, the raw result, exact, exactly what your instrument give, what, what you measured. Or, or what you wrote. Maybe you will do an experiment and write it in Excel. Uh, and, okay, fine. That is that is part of your protocol. It is super important, super, super important that you keep the original data, the raw original data, because if anything goes wrong, you can go back and check the original data. For example, um, um, uh, the, we, we don't know duplicate data. Second, we can verify every step because you don't know. Maybe there is an error. Maybe maybe uh, later you realize that something was wrong. Uh, maybe you realize that one of these steps was wrong. If you keep all these steps, if you save all these steps, we can see later what happened. Uh, and we can fix it. Like maybe. Uh, I made a mistake with one of the name of Istanbul. I don't know. Maybe we make a mistake, maybe, maybe something. So if I save the protocol, anybody can check if I did it correctly or wrong. Anybody can check that the data uh, has not been destroyed. And the third advantage is that uh, we can apply to new data. So for example, let's say next year there are new students and I ask the same question again and they make the same mistakes, then I already have a way to handle that case. So this is a general philosophy about uh, how to handle your data. So um, um, let's say keep uh, raw data forever. So when you do an experiment, uh, uh, I don't know if how, how you do it, but when you do an experiment, you normally have a, a, a lab notebook. And the lab notebook, the good ones, have page numbers. Uh, so every page has a number, and you write everything, and you keep this forever. Uh, you take backup, you, you, you either make a copy, uh, you scan them, I don't know, but you keep them forever because your, your uh, laboratory notebook is the basis of all your work. It's what can guarantee that you did the experiment that you said you did, that you had the result that you said you had. And if everything, anything goes wrong, uh, you're uh, notebook is the source of, of, uh, of, I mean, the netbook is the way that you can uh, find what went wrong, when it went wrong. Okay? It is super important. Uh, I, I have a story, but I will tell next week. But uh, the, I, I like to say that the raw data is holy. You respect it, you save it forever. Every Analysis can be done again. The only thing, the most expensive thing is your data, your original data. Then you can do analysis. Uh, I mean, okay, let me say in two parts. The, 
data is expensive because it's your experiment. Uh, writing this protocol, the first time is super expensive. Uh, you have to spend time with spend you now like uh, one hour doing this type up. Uh, but after you did, if you save this protocol, you can do it again for free. Okay. The second time is free. Okay. Let, let's go quickly to the second. Uh, okay. No, first, if you have any question, I, I want to, I want to stop here. Um, I will suggest that uh, kind of a homework that you finish tidying up the, this uh, table later with this approach or any other approach. Uh, maybe the last comment is this. If you see here, uh, we have essentially one uh, data frame. There's some extra temporary variables that I use, but they're not very important. The most important part here is uh, this student. And uh, every time we use these commands, like I, uh, we uh, use an index, we're updating the same uh, object. We have one object, one data frame with a lot of vectors and we are updating it in place. So uh, uh, I think that Busse asked this question last week. Like, If I try this again, for example, if I go back to the beginning and I ask the same question, the result will be different because now student is changed. If I click now, I get a different result. You see? Because I modify the data. So uh, if you want to make sure that things are going fine, you have to do it again from the beginning. So how you do that? Well, the easy way is you go here and you say clear all. Uh, in fact, the best way you go here and you start again the project. Uh, you, you restart the project and you clean everything. Okay. Uh, let's save this one. It takes half a minute to, to restart, but we start. That is the safest way. Uh, if you don't want to be so aggressive, you just clean up and you do everything again. And then you can uh, run all. And see what happened. No, what happened? So nothing. But here I put the cursor here. Then uh, and then put the cursor and I have run all below. Okay. You see the the red color, the green the green is showing. Where are we going? Run after. Uh, ta -ta -ta the number got here, then this one changed, and, and we can see all the results. Okay. And at the end, we got the file. Let's do the filtering now. Uh, it should be easy for you right now to see the, uh, the what are the students this semester. I think we did it last time also, no? Like um, with the index, but I want to do with the new with the new approach. That it was kind of Zeynep asked this thing like uh, contain. Uh, if you if you read carefully Zeynep, the contain function in this case was not working as we as you, as you were thinking. Uh, it is kind of your idea, but not working exactly. But let's see. Uh, what I want to say here is this. Uh, until here, and until here, everything that I did was about vector. Okay, let me put, this is important. Now, we will, let me put it with a, in a different way. Now we will work with a table. vectors okay so it's a little different because we're using a different data structure 
זה Toolbox. Remember that when I write this right here, you have to delete it, okay? This is just to remind you where you have to write, but you have to delete it. So, new library. The player, okay? And then what uh, What we need to do here, oh, okay, this is the new library. We can click here and see what happened. Did we do this before or not? I don't remember if we did. Yeah, Meliki said yes, Zeynep said no, so. I um, think, I think one of the videos, uh, yeah, the yeah, videos on the YouTube, yeah. we, yes, we saw in a video. Yeah. But I think it was even in a video that I made, not only the one that I recommended you from, from the official line, but also, uh, yes. I think one that you I also made. showed. Yeah. But we didn't talk about this in last semester, okay, in last class. Okay. Um, yeah, I only see new students, but the people who, who are doing this class for second time, this is completely new and they are going to miss this. So what do we have here? Uh, uh, there is a warning here uh, that, to be honest, we don't care very much. So we have an option we say not show warning, warning false. You see it here, say warning false. So when we, when we ignite this, we will not see this message. This message is not very important. It essentially meaning that the, there were other functions with the same name, but don't worry, don't worry. It's not, it's not critical for us. <clears throat> I think we did this, I'm not sure if we did this in the slides or in the class, but uh, the answer of who are the students that have left-handed and that are in this semester, uh, we, we asked this question last week, no? Yes, no? I guess we did. And, uh, this was one answer using uh, indices, uh, the way that we have been doing. So we use a bracket because it's an index. And the, the thing that I don't like here is that you have to say students, 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 you have to repeat the name every time. So it's easy to make a, a mistake and it's kind of, you have to be careful. But on the other side, we have to do it a lot. So in general, we, try to not use indices a lot. And so far we only use indices when we need to change the data frame. For example, to tie that data, okay? If we use the uh, new way, this tool, the plier, you know, the plier is this tool that we use to twist the cables. Um, we can ask in a, in a, with a common call filter. We take all the, all the table and we filter some, some rows. Uh, and we put the condition here, the same as we had before, but we don't need to repeat the name. Uh, you say filter student and hand, this handness is understood to be in the context of students. And the answer date is also understood to be in the context of students. So, you see, the, the result is essentially the same, but this say the word student like five times or three times. And if you put more and more conditions, you start repeating again and again, and that is not a good idea. Then uh, the, with filter, you save that. Then there is a second step uh, that you don't even need to put the and. Uh, this and sign here is optional in, in the sense that when you use filter, the first input is the data frame, the table, and then you put condition, and then you can put another condition. Essentially, you put, it should be handness equal to left, it should be this one, it should be, so you can go filtering and filtering. 
and uh, every time you will you will be applying new rules and you get a, a table at the end okay you please notice that these three are the same answer but uh, kind of every time it's easier to ask the question okay and then we, we use the pipe if you want uh, you start with student and then you say take the students and filter it okay yeah say never we had the problem with the sun in the face at this time uh, yeah something at this time of the day uh, so you you can essentially start with something and you put more and more condition and maybe the easy way to see is this one i mean this the way that you see the how you combine things you have the initial set of a student then we filter the one that are left-handed then we filter that uh, the one that answered the the survey this year and uh, you again get the same result i am showing you like four or five ways to ask the same question they are all good, uh, they are all fast, uh, uh, and the point is mostly what is more easy for you to understand, okay? Now, there is an advantage in this last that I want to mention this, uh, well, okay, there is a part that here uh, I wanted to explore with you, uh, we can test in a minute, um, is how to select columns. Because filter is selecting rows, I have a slide. okay two things that I have to show you here. Um, the good explanation is here. We have this uh, filter will select rows. Select will choose columns. Okay, filter is working in rows. Select is working in columns. Okay, and. Uh, I want to show you this because I want to give you a couple of hints, but to let me finish my, my argument and then I will give you this, this uh, data here. So using pipe is like this, choosing column. Okay, since some of you, I, I see Zeynep and I see Khan and I see who else. Uh, some of you were my student last year in a course called Introduction to Computer Science. You may recognize that the philosophy that we are using here is exactly the same philosophy that we had in the previous course. So that was the, the advantage. Like in, in, uh, in the Unix command line, we have data uh, that is typical in text file, that, but we tend to think that are uh, uh, rows and columns. I mean, uh, the same thing, uh, one line for every observation, one column for every variable. And then we have commands like grep, that uh, filter rows. And then you have commands like cut that filter columns. And then you have sort, for example, to change the order. So we can make the same combinations, the same philosophy. And this is pipe. So essentially what we have in R is the same thing that people have in, in well, the same philosophy. Okay, the tools are different, the problems are different. But essentially, the idea of these tools is to use the same philosophy that we discussed in, in this course. Now, if, you, if you took it, if you were lucky or unlucky, I don't know. But if you took it before, you will recognize that uh, it's the same philosophy. And uh, these are the things that, well, we should do. I think we have to test it last time. You, you saw them in the video. And uh, next week we are going to, to to practice these things. Okay, maybe there is kind of one or two small ideas, but just remember that the last uh, that next week is going to be uh, the last uh, class before the midterm. Okay, so I I don't have right now uh, homework to give you, but I I hope that. Uh, uh, no, don't, don't say yes. The, the homework are your rehearsal for the exam. The more homework you, you do, uh, the best you will be. The, I, I know, there's a joke like that. Undergrad always say, don't give me homework. Uh, in master, you say, it will be great to have homework. And in PhD, say, please, please give me homework. For, for God's sake, give me. A, because it's the only way that you learn doing that. 
Okay, uh, yeah, let's, let's do this next time, selecting the columns. Uh, I just wanted to say that the philosophy is the same. Ah, oh, yeah, this is important, this is important. So I, I found this website I am sending you. Uh, it's a book uh, in, in, in web. Uh, I don't know, to be honest, I don't know the name of the book, but it seems like a, a introduction to R. Tidyverse, and uh, and there is something like uh, they the use biological data. It's made for biologists because, of course, R is the tool for biologists. So I am sending you this link. Uh, what is this? This link. That you can take a look for for different explanation. You will see that they are uh, essentially doing the same, the pipe and data frame. Uh, we are not doing this plot yet. We are going to do that. Is uh, all these plots is after the midterm. Uh, but filter, select, arrange, all these things are here. And the book that I am using is this one, which is as you see available here online. So I am also giving you this other link. This is the book I am following. Okay, um, here it is. Um, the book is, the website is free. No? So this is um, the, the official website for the book. Uh, it, this is completely legal, completely free. So yeah, this is the thing. And, um, I, I will be sending. I, I will make some 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 other slide, but I am also sending you links to the official uh, uh, courses because they are explaining the same ideas. Okay, so I will try to make examples that are good for us, but in general, the content uh, it is super public, and you can find it in Turkish if you like. Uh, you probably will find someone who did it in Turkish. I am just giving you the keywords. The keyword that you have to search is uh, at this level, this one. I think they were in the video that I sent you last week, but if you want to learn more, look for this keyword, okay? <laughs>